In this video we're going to look at the Pentax Super Program equipped with the Pentax A 50mm 1.7 lens and this camera was uh, one of the top models uh, to coincide with the uh, introduction of the A series lens and I believe this was the uh, descendant of the ME Super and so it works very similarly but it's a little bit more advanced, a little bit nicer in my opinion. Uh, works very similarly, you can have the shutter locked on auto, on manual, on 1 125th, on bulb setting. And If you set this on auto and then if you set the lens on the locked A position, which is a feature only of the A series lenses, you can then take a picture and before you take it you can see on two LCDs inside the viewfinder what the shutter speed and aperture that the camera is selected for the uh, exposure and and then go ahead and take the picture and know that the camera has done a good job of metering and, and uh, picked a good combination. If you want a little more creative control you can go to the manual mode and then you can unlock the aperture ring, select your own aperture, select your own shutter, and what you see in the viewfinder is uh, your shutter speed on one LCD and then on the other one you'll see a number that varies from minus three to plus three. And so as you manipulate your aperture and your shutter speed you then try to get that to read zero, which means a good exposure per the meter. And then if you want to compensate a little bit, you can you can go to either side of that based on what you're trying to do creatively, but knowing that uh, you're deviating a little bit from what the meter says is correct. And uh, I found that that worked very well. The numbers went very smoothly uh, from plus three to minus three and back. So, And then here there's a little LCD here that will show the shutter speed and we can go all the way from 15 seconds, a very long exposure, and here's a one second, and that sounds about right, and we can go all the way up to one two thousandth of a second. And that uh, is, is very nice, I think, a nice range. If we stop the lens down a little bit we can see that the stop down preview works well. That's a nice feature to have. And also the self timer. A little uh, red light flashing here and it'll speed up when it gets close. And there we go. We pop off the lens and just look at that a little bit very smooth focus. Doesn't get much nicer than that. Nice clicks on aperture ring. We stop it down. Very quick aperture blades. And as I look down in there I see no oil on the blades from either side. And when I look toward a bright light I see no fungus or any other problems. So this is a very nice clean lens. It'll come protected with this old Hoya cap. I don't have a lens cap, so this dirty old filter, which could maybe be cleaned up to be used as a filter, will be on there, but it's primarily serving as a lens cap. And then oh, I'm going to mount the lens back on properly. And there it is. If we go to the back, you can lift up on the rewind crank, which is in good condition see the shutter blades and shut off the timer and they're working well the uh, film advance is working well a little bit of sticky residue on the door edges so light seal material is breaking down and that those should be replaced at some point here it might work okay with with it as is but I would recommend replacing those light seals door closes properly. Not too much wear on the bottom, a little bit of scuffing here, not too much around the 
the hole there um, comes with a nice Pentax branded strap. Not real fancy, but uh, nice enough one for for use. So, pretty nice example of the Pentax Super Program.